Well, as you can see here, boys, you got about a foot of snow. But I'm just gonna try and show you guys before we get going on my new build, kind of what you'll need for the four wheel drive conversion. Just making my way over, this is the uh, Dodge Ram factory parts shed. So we're, we're slowly collecting all the parts. We got nice fenders, hoods, uh, valances, lots of different shit. By the way, if you guys need any two wheel drive parts, let me know. I got a shit ton control arms, linkages, all sorts of stuff kicking around here. There's my fucking old mug. Look at that. Yeah, like I said, if you guys do need anything, let me know. So here's the first one that we four wheel drive swapped. It's covered in snow. But here we go. So here's some of the stuff you're gonna need. So the easiest way to get it would be to buy the actual four wheel drive truck, obviously a rotted out one or whatever. I actually found one on Marketplace. Just cut right from the middle there. But you're gonna need you're gonna need that triangle mount, rear perch, whatever. Those brackets there for both sides. Pretty easy to make if you don't have them. You're gonna need the spring or the shock perch, sorry, or shock mount, whatever it's. So this is the the box. The steering boxes are the same, but you need this uh, mounting plate here because then it clocks it in the right position for the drag link. <clears throat> you need this uh, front bracket, and you also need this one here that's mounted to the frame. You're gonna need your Dana 60. We're going dually, so I believe that's Dana 70. We got a rust free cab here, we got it all kind of blocked off from all the snow. Bunch of fucking tires. Okay, back to this. You guys are gonna need this front middle mount, cross member, the front cross member, and this motor, this motor mount here, or motor cross member, whatever you wanna call it, because this uh, sits in the frame, on the insides of the frame, and then the two wheel drive, it, it bolts uh, on the outside, obviously. And I'm trying to think what else you're gonna need. <clears throat> We've got this front uh, front bracket that goes in here. Like this even at the sides. I'll leave that in there. Um. For transmission, I mean, it's kind of what you're going to be using for your build. For mine, I'm using a six-speed from a third-gen G56. So we're going to be getting that bolted to an NP205. And do that by mounting... Um, you need a second-gen adapter plate for the motor and a second-gen starter. Here's my 318. Lots of snow in the bed. On the roof. Probably should clear that up. Yeah, we're kinda at a halt right now with the snow here, boys, because we're just working outside. 
But yeah, that's kind of an update. That's not exactly every part you're gonna need, but off the top of my head, I believe that's a good amount of it. And again, like, you said, like I said, if you guys need any, so you can see the difference, that's a two wheel drive front cross member. It's got all the extra, um, I believe those are strut bars. But if you guys need any parts, I've got NP435s drive shafts let me know I'm in Ontario Canada we just actually received this as well it's the uh, headlight relay kit or harness basically it comes as its own kit I'm just gonna have to lengthen a few of the wires so stay tuned for that No, just everywhere, boys. This, you can see where the old wheel used to go? I'm gonna park right here, though. Wow. Like, every time we come to Princess Auto, boys, Wow, that is fucking dope. 